Hello, everyone. My name is Wu Qiangyang. I will teach you this uh, course module with uh, Sarah together. Uh, this uh, is a MACE 10492 circuit analysis and sensory electronics. In the past, this course module was called electrical energy supply in the circuit. I don't know, for some reason, they uh, couldn't change the title of this uh, course module. So on Blackboard, you uh, still see uh, this module is electrical energy supply and the circuit. We are in department of electrical and electronic engineering. Now this is uh, the course content, part one, introduction. In this part, uh, we introduce course module arrangement, some fundamental concepts like voltage, current, power, uh, dual circuit elements. In part two, we will discuss passive, active, and active circuit elements and fundamental laws. In this part, we discuss five basic circuit elements, which are voltage source, current source, resistor, capacitor, and inductor. About fundamental laws, we will discuss Ohm's law, Kirchhoff current law, which is a KCL, and Kirchhoff voltage law, which is a KVL. In part three, we will discuss simple resistance circuits. In this part, we have resistors in series, resistors in parallel, voltage divider, current divider, star delta conversion. You may not have any idea what is a star delta conversion. Let's see what it is. In part four is uh, induction and uh, inductance and capacitance circuit. We uh, will discuss inductors in series, inductors in parallel, capacitors in series, capacitors in parallel, which are similar to resistors in series and uh, resistors in parallel. In part five is uh, circuit analysis method. I would say for circuit analysis, this is the most important part. There are many different methods for circuit analysis. The first one is the most important. That is node voltage methods. The following is a mesh current method. I don't think this is important. Superposition principle, this is important. The next is a source conversion, i.e. voltage to a current and current to voltage source. The following is a DV non, not a teravine, teravine. It's a DV non, a Norton equivalent to circuit. And this is a French DV non. Uh, the last part is uh, maximum power. Part six is ideal operational amplifier circuit. We uh, have fundamental concepts, including three parameters of OPAM, two features of uh, OPAM circuit, closed loop gain, input and output impedance. There are many different operational amplifier circuits. We uh, will discuss inverting amplifier, non-inverting amplifier, differential amplifier, instrumentation amplifier, and Holland circuit. 
Part seven is the center. We have a fundamental concept, string gauge, windstone bridge circuit, and other types of sensors, such as a resistive sensor, infrared sensor, incremental optical encoder, ultrasonic sensor, gyroscope, and accelerator. Sarah will teach this part about the sensor. Signal conditioning circuit, there are three different parts. Rectifier, phase sensitive demodulator, simple low pass filter, but worse low pass filter. The last part is a nine signal capturing. We have a multiplexer digitalization, decimal to, des to binary conversion and also binary to decimal conversion. DAC and ADC. In DAC, we discuss the most popular one type that is a ladder network. In ADC, we, we discuss two different types. One is a dual ramp. The second type is a successive, successive approximation. Now let's start part one, introduction. At first, I'd like to um, give you uh, ideas how we arrange this uh, Cosmo audio. Uh, each week, you should watch about 45 minutes videos as a synchronous lecture. During a synchronous lectures, we will not discuss, uh, I should uh, make uh, clear, we will not discuss examples exercise questions or summary. Uh, instead, we will leave those to synchronize session. Uh, each week, we will have 50 minutes synchronized session in classroom, face to face. During synchronized sessions, we will review key content in asynchronized lecture. You must watch video in advance. Uh, again, you must watch video in advance and go through those examples, exercise questions, tutorial questions, if we give you, and summary. So during, uh, during synchronized sessions, we will discuss those. Now this uh, semester, you um, uh, arrange two hours live in C18, Sackville Street building. There are three live sessions in week 26 and two live sessions in week 27. You should check your own timetable. Make sure you attend correct one. You should submit your library report on Blackboard in week 29. I should make it clear, it doesn't matter which week you attend uh, your lab sessions, all of you, you must submit your report in week 29. But normally we ask you to, um, to submit reports on uh, Friday, one o'clock. Each week you should uh, study your own six hours. So let's work out how many hours in total we have. We have uh, two hours lectures each week times uh, 12, three hours lab plus six hours your own study times 12. So we can make this uh, figure equals 99 hours. You know, this is a 10 credit um, uh, cost modules. So 10 credit cost modules means 100 hours. So I give you four relevant textbooks. The first one is this book. This is by James Nielsen and Susan Riddle. Electric circuit. So this is a e textbook. So this is available on Blackboard. So if you um, 
uh, check your blackboard, you should see this uh, textbook available. The second, second book is uh, by Sajil Frankel, designed with uh, operational amplifier, amplifiers and uh, analog integrated circuits. So that, that is a book. There are several different versions of this book. It doesn't really matter which uh, version you use. Um, so almost the uh, same. The third book is by Jacob Friden, Handbook of Modern Sensors, Physics, Design, and Applications. For this book, uh, we use uh, this book for part uh, seven, I remember. Yeah, it's uh, part seven here, part seven sensors. A part of uh, textbook four is by Rosemary Taylor, Data Acquisition for Sensor Systems. This book seems pretty old, but um, the principle never change. But this book mostly we use for later parts, like uh, signal capturing this part. So that is um, a textbook. On Blackboard, you will see uh, uh, our teaching notes, e-textbook, exercise questions, and answers. We wouldn't give you answer in advance. So for exercise questions, you should uh, uh, do it to yourself. But in the end, before the end of the semester, we would give you an answer. A live instruction manuals, a past exam paper and uh, answers. So for your assessment, there are two parts. Your library report will take 20%. Right? In the end of this semester, you will have an exam, normal exam that is 80%. For your end of a semester exam, you will be given four questions, two in circuit analysis from part one to part five, and two questions in sensory electronics from part six to part nine. And this is uh, my last page for this uh, session. As a MACE student, why should you learn circuits and sensors? Circuits are everywhere. Uh, everyone we uh, involve communication. For example, everyone we use a mobile phone. Everyone we use a computers, from a calculator to embodied system to PC. We um, now people involved more in signal processing. In particular, these days, people talk about big data, deep learning, machine learning, AI, all those actually in the past simply cause signal processing. Nowadays, the boundary between different subjects become blurred. All engineering students must learn how to use computers software package and sensors. I'll take a few examples. Like for civil engineering student, um, you involve in um, structural design for power plant, structural health monitoring of bridge. For engineering, uh, aerospace engineering student, you involve in aircraft, autopilot, auto landing. For mechanical engineering student, you involve transportation, robotics, high value manufacturing. So let's uh, stop uh, here. Next time we start uh, fundamental concepts. <laughs>